Flint here. We're gonna do some test printing with the Jet Stamp 790. This is the samples the customer has sent to us for the packaging. And we're gonna just start with printing on some of these products here, right directly on them. Now this product dries in virtually a couple seconds. So we're gonna just keep test printing on, here's a pail. I'm going to print on the bottom of the pail as well. For our customers, we'll be, I'll do a, t a lot of test printing on them. It's quite durable ink. Uh, we'll do a lot of test printing so the customers can understand exactly what they're getting and that how that they can do their own testing. What you don't want is the, the product to rub. So the printed actually rubbed there on that one. And what I'm going to show you in two seconds is so when you're in there, there's a little bubble. In this case, I could feel there's a rivet. Now, I will also be test printing with the yellow ink on the dark one here. And before I get into these ones, so if you've got a special spot, a placement of your, your number, like, a, like in here, um, it's kind of difficult to line up. So I'm going to show you how to make a template now uh, to be able to line that up. So to make a template, I just use, usually like to use an old manila folder. And what you'll do is you'll do a test print right on the unit, don't move it. Trace around the outside. Like that. And then what I'll do is cut out my little spacing cut that template out and what we'll end up with will be a, a nice little template to show how that works. So once it's cut out this is what it looks like. So now I have my two-way tape. I'm just going to remove it. Line it up on my template the best that I can. All right so now you can see how I have my, my template here and if we wanted to start on this one, for instance, uh, if you had a tiny little area you wanted to print in, you can actually line it up. So you know where you go. And then if I do it on the green label, so that's how that works. Now, I'm gonna be doing some more test printing everywhere. The template might actually help keep the printhead from rubbing on some surfaces too. So I highly recommend using one. Let's see if, it, if it's not right tight to the surface, it still has it. Uh, it still will print on it. Do some more printing on this. With this ink, it actually could have, uh, this actually has, does a double print. How it's set up to do that. So that's a double print, and if give it two seconds, it dries, but it does come off a tiny bit. Dust on there. The longer you let it dry, for instance, let's go. The one that's been sitting for a little bit longer and it's got a better ink on it. Alright, so now we're going to uh, change the cartridge to the yellow ink. So in order to do that, you're going to hit the button here that says inkjet. It centers the cartridge, you flip the little lever down, remove that. What you're going to want to do is always put it back in its little container here. There's a little rubber seal. And you're always going to want to put it back in its bag. These ink cartridges dry very quickly, they're called quick dry ink. That means the print heads dry out as well. That's very important. So here's the yellow cartridge. Just drop it in. Pull that lever up, should be good to go. Alright, so the yellow ink on white. So 
that dries, I'll try one that I did already. That's some dirt. I'm gonna touch it. And we'll do it in a pail. Try not to move when I do that, and it does a double print. If it moves, it won't be quite as clear. Now, let's move on to the bags. I'm not here. This is the bags. That's pretty good. So that's test printing with the Jet Stamp 790. If you're in Canada and you want us to test print your products, just leave me a comment and we'll get back to you about how we can make that happen. Okay, so there you go. Thanks again for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. The alarm bell will give you a notification when all the latest videos are out. So thanks again. Take care.